Hey guys, Arcane Venom here, and I just wanted to start this video off by saying a huge thank you to everybody that supported me all the way to 1,000 subscribers. In actual fact, the count at the moment is like 1,070 something. We're nearly at 1,100 already. We're growing significantly fast. I actually generally can't believe that we've got to this feat already. Um, it's actually been a year to this very month where we started this channel at zero subscribers. Um, and it's been a really, really fun ride. And for a lot of you guys who have supported me from the very beginning, I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to you. You've seen my channel go through World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, I've been experimenting with other games. I've just literally found a new fond love for CSGO. I've been playing CS Source uh, for a long, long time, and I kind of dropped it. It's one of those games that if you drop, you really suck very quickly. Um, and I'm just getting back into it. I'm really enjoying uh, CSGO at the moment, and I just can't wait to learn more. And you guys have been giving me so much helpful advice um, that I just I can't thank you guys enough for how amazing and supportive you all are. Um, I just wanted to thank all of the people that have recently joined the channel as well. You guys have really, really helped my enthusiasm to make more and better content for you guys. Um, I just wanted to let you know that this actually isn't a live commentary like I normally make. Um, I actually recorded this footage around an hour ago. It's not perfect. It is on casual. Uh, a lot of people always ask why I play on casual. Um, the reason is because I can't actually play competitive yet until I'm rank 3. I am on rank 2, I'm getting there, but I just don't get a lot of time to play. Um, I do have a full-time job, so once I finish that, if I'm not doing anything in the evening times, like spending time with my family, my girlfriend, or doing work that I should have been doing at actual work, uh, then I'm playing this game, I'm learning, I'm interacting with you guys, I'm making videos, um, and I do take everything you say, every bit of advice you give me, into consideration. Admittedly, sometimes I get carried away with the moment, um, and I kind of do things when you're like, hey, you know, I told you to stop moving when you shoot, um, and it's just sometimes I run and gun and I just forget all about it. Uh, but I do learn from you guys, and I think that's really cool, That how, I don't know, YouTube's become not just a platform where we can entertain, but we can learn from each other. Um, and we can kind of share uh, natural, natural interests, we can kind of share common interests uh, together, um, which I just think is an amazing thing. And now that there's a thousand of you guys, now admittedly, maybe there's maybe a couple of hundred that are dead, or a couple of hundred, not physically dead, I hope none of you are physically dead, uh, but a couple of hundred uh, that are kind of like not active, um, and, you know, I'm only getting roughly around 100 to maybe 300 views. Sometimes the odd video spikes to 1,000, uh, but I'm really, really happy. You know, numbers don't mean a thing to me. Interaction, personally, for me, is everything. Um, and you guys have been so epic. Um, recently, we've been invaded by the Reptilian Squad. Uh, lots of hissing. A lot of you guys were actually really, really nice. There were a few people that left a few dislikes, but hey-ho, you know, shit happens. They dropped by. They gave the view, so I don't really care too much. Uh, like I said, numbers don't mean a thing for me. It's just personal interaction. Although a lot of it was hissing, I found it quite hilarious uh, to read all the comments and to see you guys just randomly spam my emails. Uh, that was really, really fun. Um, but no. Oh, by the way, I got these jewel pistols when I was trying to get uh, the shadow daggers. Uh, I don't mind them. They're pretty fun. They're my favorite pistol in the game. Uh, it's a little bit too Chinese Mafia for me, but I decided to uh, run with that skin today and see how it looks. Uh, but there are a few skins I really, really want. I saw like this AK-47 that was kind of silver, rusty, with like purple tinges to it. That looked pretty sick. I wouldn't mind trying that out at some point. Um, but no, guys, I just... Wanted to make a video to just say thank you so, so much, and uh, I want to do something because I've hit this, like, amazing feat. I know a lot of you guys are like, hey, you know, thousands of subscribers is nothing nowadays. There are people with hundreds of thousands, millions, you know, whatever. But for me, 1,000 is just freaking insane, considering I just never expected to ever hit that milestone. Um, and, like, YouTube sent me a message saying, like, did you know that you have enough people who, like, watch you to fill up, I don't know, like, a football pitch or something like that? And I was just amazed at, like, I don't know, like, it's just mind-blowing. I think sometimes we get desensitized to, like, how epic things are, you know, because people have 1,000, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, or a million subscribers. People, they look down at people that have, like, you know, maybe 50 subscribers. I remember, I remember vividly that when I got, like, I think it was 30 subscribers and I had, like, three guys constantly comment on my videos, I was freaking high on, like, 
I don't know. I don't know what I was fucking high on. It wasn't drugs, I promise. Uh, but I, it just it just made me so happy to see that people were, number one, showing interest in my content. Number two, interacting. Um, and it was like this online family. And that's how I see you guys as an online family. I've always said uh, to all of my subscribers that I don't see you as fans. I think that's such an awkwardly wrong thing to, to kind of see people as fans. It's just, it's, I don't know. I just don't like it. Um, and if this channel ever did blow up, the last thing I would want is to sign things for you guys. Like, not in a mean way, but just because I'm I'm, I'm not that important. I'm, I'm just a guy who plays CSGO. We all have common interests. Um, and yeah, I would just love to interact, talk with you guys, play CSGO, have a load of fun. That's what I would want to do. I wouldn't want to just freaking sign, I don't know, a fucking mouse or something like that. Um, you know, I, I, I just generally love the interaction. Um, and that's, if that's one, I would say, thing I could kind of, like, tell somebody in my position who wants to maybe make CSGO videos, who wants to learn CSGO, or wants just to basically make gaming videos on YouTube, that is to have fun. I know that's such a generic thing to say. It's not helpful whatsoever to a lot of people. I remember when I was, like, up, like, 100 or 200 subscribers, and I was thinking about, you know, maybe taking this up a notch, uh, and I was talking to bigger YouTubers, and they were like, you know, it just happens, you know, just have fun with it, you know, just make good quality content, make it consistent, which, by the way, consistency for me was always, always a problem, especially with my busy lifestyle of having a job, having a social life, and trying to balance girlfriend, family that live far away, and all sorts of shit. I thought I had that guy then, that ladder always fucks me over, and it's so damn annoying that I died there. I remember how pissed I was uh, when I died, I was like, holy shit, I'm glad I wasn't recording, so I think I did uh, maybe drop a few uh, four-letter bombs, but... Yes, um, I think this guy gets a pretty sick shot there, he did. And I think he gets another sick shot, wait for it, I'm, I'm thinking he does, I'm not too sure, no, maybe he doesn't. I think this guy gets a sick shot though. Um, but yeah, I just, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, as long as you have fun, you will eventually get there. I've had some pretty decent conversations with some pretty big YouTubers. Um, I'm friends with a guy called Wow Hobbs. Now he's like a, a, a semi, semi sort of professional Hearthstone player, um, and he has like 119,000 subscribers. Um, and, you know, he's just very chill. He doesn't try and impress anybody. He just makes decent content that's consistent. Um, and that's one thing I really learned from him. Um, another YouTuber that I spoke to was Syndicate. I actually got to speak to him, uh, EGX. Um, and, you know, he's just a pretty chill guy. And just the way he works, he's very, very humble about things. And th that's what I generally like. I just like people who just play the game, enjoy playing with other people, and just like talking about their common interests with people who also have the same interests. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let me know what you'd like to see as a kind of 1,000 subscriber special. I was thinking either making a very, very special video that's kind of like um, cinematic, possibly involving you guys, or whether you'd want a giveaway. I know a lot of people would probably want the giveaway um, I'm just thinking what to actually give away. I could give away Steam vouchers, I could give away skins, although I don't have any decent skins, although I could make a skin series, although thinking about it, that's probably seriously dangerous for my wallet. I don't know whether I want to get into that shit right now, although I really want a butterfly knife um, and a carabit or a crambit knife or whatever it's called. I really want those two if possible, so that could be a series in the future. Um, but this is where things get really exciting because not only can we all decide on what we want to do for the 1,000 subscribers special, but I really want you guys to have a proper input in my actual videos. And if possible, I actually want you guys to feature in my videos as well. And I'll be honest with you, I, uh, when I first started making these videos and they were becoming you know, slightly popular, I had a lot of friend requests um, and I had a lot of people try and talk to me. And I felt like an absolute true asshole for not replying to you all. Um, so I did try and reply, just like I do in the comments of my YouTube section. I always, always, always try and reply to everybody as much as I possibly can. Uh, if I don't reply to you urgently, it's because I'm doing something or away from the computer. But I do try. Uh, but with the people that were contacting me on Steam, uh, I was just trying to get content and trying to practice. I just didn't have time at that moment uh, to play with a lot of you guys. And also, a lot of you guys, I don't know if you forget, but you were playing competitive and you invite me to a competitive game, which I can't actually play either until I get to rank 3. Uh, but I do want to play with you guys at some stage. Um, I'm thinking that if we got maybe like a group of four subscribers uh, who all add mics, we could kind of like come up with uh, a game mode which we could have a load of fun at um, and we can make some really epic videos 
uh, sort of just messing around and just trying to get some sick shots on some terrorist scum. Or we might actually be the terrorists, you never know. And then we might be killing some CT scum. But anyway, guys, that's kind of been uh, everything I've wanted to kind of say in this video. This is why I, I did a kind of like a voiceover commentary, just basically a standard commentary instead of like the live ones because... In live commentaries, it's actually quite difficult for me to multitask. I don't know whether that's just in my DNA as a man. Um, no sexism there. I just generally don't think that I can kind of focus on a very detailed topic uh, within a commentary and play the game uh, significantly well at the same time, which is why I decided to do both separately and then stick them both together like a nice little sandwich. In actual fact, I might make a sandwich soon. I'm pretty darn hungry. I think I'm going to, in fact. And a Pepsi. And by the way, this might actually start an argument, but fuck anyone that drinks Coke. Pepsi is so much better. Fuck you guys. Uh, Pepsi is the bomb. I've seen it in a comment on one of the other CSGO videos that I watch. And I was, I was like, how, how can you drink Coke? It's horrible. It's either Pepsi or uh, Dr. Pepper. It probably comes close second, I would say. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you're really enjoying these videos. Um, and if there's anything that you could see that I could improve on, then please let me know. This was a cheeky little kill I got there, a little wall bang. Um, I'm starting to learn how to wall bang a little bit more. Um, I'm still not great at it. And in all honesty, everyone that actually wall bangs me, I'm pretty darn sure has some sort of ESP cheat going on. Uh, because I just find it impossible how some people just know where you are. I, I'm guessing there are people who play this so much, they just generally know the pathways that people take. Um, but dude, sometimes it's just way too lucky. We might do like an Overwatch series, in fact, and see if we can spot any cheaters. I think that would be quite fun. Um, so guys, I think we are in our last round. So I will keep on talking until this finishes. I didn't realize that this went on for like 15 minutes. I do apologize. If you are still watching, then dude, you are a freaking troop and I love your face. Uh, and please comment below cats. 1609 for waffles. If you watched up to this point, I will know if you comment that. You can comment anything, but as long as you also include that, then I will know that you've watched it till the end and you are epic, my friend. Um, but yeah, I think for the giveaway, I'm pretty darn sure I'm just gonna maybe give away money. I do have an old Razer keyboard. I see an old Razer fucking keyboard. It's not that old. I'm, I'm currently using a black chroma, um, like a, was it a black widow? I think it's called with uh, mechanical switches. Uh, but I used to have, well, I still do. It's uh, actually over to my right hand side, unplugged and all wrapped up. I had a Starcraft 2 Razer keyboard, which was fully LED, which could change colors. It had backlighting as well on the sides of the keyboard, which was the only keyboard of its kind to actually have some sort of backlighting rig. Um, and I think you can have three different colors throughout the keyboard. Um, and it's worth about 70 uh, pounds and around like 95 to 100 US dollars. So I'll possibly give that away. Um, I just don't know if that's a little too steep because I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me back in the old days. I used to use that quite a lot, but it'll either be that or a voucher of some sort. Um, but I, you know, like I want you guys to have an input as well. So let me know what you want to see um, and I will try and make it happen. Um, thank you so much once again for just being such epic people. I can't believe on how quick we're growing. We're nearly at 1,100 subscribers, which is just absolutely insane. We get the last kill there. I'm really happy with that game. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, well, it wasn't that great. But for me, that was perfect. And we got a positive KD. Uh, so it's been Arcane Venom. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And peace your faces. Goodbye.